The surf is the most turbulent, unpredictable water in which you can land a fly. Here, a fisherman must deal with two primary sources of drag, a lateral wind-drawn current called sweep and a perpendicular current caused by the incoming and receding waves. Notice how the stripers respond to the currents. They use the perpendicular heave to swim above the beach lip and look for unsuspecting prey. Moments later, it rides the backwash down below the berm. Our fly must act accordingly. We want our fly sitting nearly motionless on the bottom when a striper swims by. When the bass notices my fly, it only has a couple seconds to decide if it should strike. If my fly acts naturally for those brief moments, I will likely hook up. A natural presentation is accomplished by eliminating drag with diligent line management. Drag caused by sweep is eliminated by both casting up sweep and mending up sweep when you need to. Stronger sweeps and longer casts will require more upsweep mending. The perpendicular drag mostly comes from breaking waves. To counter it, I do something I call the break dance. Before a wave breaks, there is most often a backwash from the previous wave, which rifts my fly and my line away from me. I follow that backwash in towards the cresting wave as I collect slack line and wiggle my rod tip skyward. This gently pulls the line off the surface and up above the cresting wave, avoiding the resultant white water. Once the wave breaks, the momentum switches directions, pulling my fly back towards me. I move backwards to avoid the crashing white water and keep a tight line. I've gone through one complete wave, and because I did all that moving and mending, my fly remained in the strike zone unaffected by drag. Master this breakdance and you'll seldom go home skunked and demoralized. I fight the fish as fast as I can. Once it hits the beach, it never touches dry sand. You gotta keep them wet. Get them unhooked and back in the water as quickly as possible. 